Hello, my dear students, myself Devi Prasad Sir. Welcome to all to this chemistry class. In this video, I am going to explain you all about the chapter Language of Chemistry. Chemical equation. A chemical equation is the symbolic representation of a chemical reaction using the symbols and formulae of the substances involved in the reaction. For example, burning of coal in air is a chemical reaction in which a new substance carbon dioxide is formed. The reaction can be represented by either a word equation or a chemical equation using formulae and symbols. Now, valency the number of hydrogen atoms which can combine with or displace one atom of the element or radical so as to form a compound. The valency of all metals and hydrogen is considered positive and the valency of all non-metals or the groups of non-metals is taken as negative. Then comes variable valency. Certain metals exhibit more than one valency, hence showing variable valency. The reason for exhibiting variable valency is that an atom of an element can sometimes lose more electrons than are present in its valence cell, that is, loss from the penultimate cell, that is, last but one cell and hence exhibit more than one or variable valency. For example, cupros Cu1 plus and cupric Cu2 plus. Now, steps involved in writing chemical equation. Number one, write the symbols or the formulae of the reactants on the left hand side with a positive sign between them. Second point, Write the symbols or the formulae of the products on the right hand side with a positive sign between them. Third one, put the sign of the arrow in between the reactant side, reactant side and the product side. Fourth one, represent the reactants and the products in the molecular form. Then comes a chemical formula. A chemical formula it is a molecule of a substance that is element or compound could be represented by symbols representation known as chemical formula. An element is referred to a monoatomic which it exists as a single atom and represented by a single symbol of that element. When an element exists as a molecule, a number representing its atomic city is written as a subscript after the symbol of the element thereby representing its formula. A compound contains whole number of atoms of the component elements indicating that the elements are in chemical combination thereby representing its molecular formula. A molecular formula also indicates the number of units of the radicals present in a compound with the proper subscript outside the unit of the radical that is two outside of OH in case of calcium hydroxide. <coughs> Sorry. Chemical reactions may involve one reactant and two or more products, two reactants and one product, two reactants and two products, two reactants and three or more products. Now comes the balance equation. It is an equation in which the total number of atoms of each element in the reactant on the left side of the equation is the same as the number of atoms in the products formed on the right side of the equation. An equation must be balanced in order to comply with the law of conservation of matter which states that matter is neither created 
nor destroyed in the course of a chemical reaction. An unbalanced equation would imply that atoms have been created not destroyed. Now, <coughs> the question arises that what is a balanced equation? A balanced equation is one which has a number of co atoms of each element is the same on the side of the reactants and on the side of the products. And as I said, and all the equations must be balanced in order to comply with the law of conservation of matter, which explains that matter is neither created nor destroyed in the course of a chemical reaction. An unbalanced equation would imply that atoms have been created or destroyed. Now, there is no definite rule governing the balancing of an equation and it is generally balanced by hit and trial method or by partial equation method. My dear students, I hope that you all understood the contents of this video. The rest part of this chapter you will get in my next video. Thank you for watching and learning from this video.